Welcome to Fresh Meals. Tips and tricks for creating healthy school meals that burst with flavor. Learn from James Beard award-winning chef Jimmy Schmidt how to work magic with incredible, locally available fresh food. Fresh Meals is brought to you by Michigan Team Nutrition. Hi, I'm Jimmy Schmidt and welcome to Fresh Meals. Today we're going to talk about aromatherapy. You've all heard about aromatherapy in spas and the mall and that wonderful flavor of the Cinnabons wifting out over the audiences that draws them into the stores. The smell of toasted peanuts and nuts and such. Today we're going to deal with our own type of aromatherapy and really projecting great orifactory scents across the cafeteria. What we're going to do is we're going to start that with what everybody loves best, bread. And bread is a great carrier, not just for its own natural flavors, which is really the smell of the yeast being released, uh, but also in, in the form of cinnamon bread, sweet breads, as well as kind of spicy breads. So we're going to start off with making our own bread, and it's easy as can be to do. And in this mixture, we've got a mixture of high gluten flour, which is actually the gluten provides the structure and whole wheat for the fiber and nutrients. We're going to get it started. And we have our uh, leavening agent, which is a blend of yeast, warm water, about 110 degrees, and a little bit of either sugar or honey for the yeast to feed on, which will ultimately, they divide and release gas that leavens the bread. So just add the liquid into the uh, flour and it just kind of cruises along. There's two real key steps to great bread. Number one is fermentation for taste. Fermentation is developed, in our case, overnight so that we really get full flavor and full taste. And the second part is moisture. Moisture ultimately gives it the best texture and really what we're talking about. Now, after we've got this ball starting to coming together here a little bit, we're going to actually add in ice water. Ice water will help uh, balance out the friction factor, the dough against the bowl, and the, the warm temperature that we started with with the lukewarm water to control it to an ideal batter temperature. Too hot of a batter and it tends to stick, it's less easy to handle, and it takes a um, it ferments a little too quickly on us. So once the ball forms, we'll slow it down and let it work. Now we're gonna let this run for about 10 minutes. 10 minutes is your maximum time to develop these gluten strands, which makes the elasticity that allows the bread to capture the gas and rise versus being a flat bread, uh, which the rest of the world was used to until wheat came along. So as we let this go, we'll let it work for 10 minutes until it's just as supple and as soft as can be. We'll take it out, we'll dump it into a Cambro or whatever you got handy around, a little splash of olive oil on it so that you actually uh, prevent it from drying out and then just throw it in the walk-in and let it cool from it overnight and it's just as happy as can be. Just make sure it's a large enough container. Once you get it out after the fermentation is done, pull it out, either divide it to the right size pan and just simply Dump it, if it cooperates here, out onto a floured sheet pan parchment line. And the dough is so mellow from the cold fermentation overnight and so relaxed and so full of flavor and it's got enough moisture that you don't have to fight it. You can simply roll it out just like hand, out like this. We actually call it a knuckle bread because you can use your knuckles to do it like that. Then the final step is to take either like a, a cinnamon butter or a seasoned uh, oil and just put it across the top of the bread. Allow it to, to come back to temperature which will start to rise and throw it in the oven and it wraps up real easily. Also if you want to go for a more savory effect you can take garlic and herbs and a lot of the things that are coming out of your school garden and cook them into an oil this captures all the volatile oils and you can use that to spread on top the, the bread and to cook. 
Those aromas being released are absolutely fabulous. And with the miracles of TV, you can see the finished bread. Big trick, put a fan near the oven, make sure that it's whifting the, the scents that are the aromas that are coming out of the oven across the cafeteria lines. Fill up the room with this wonderful aroma. So when lunch starts, they'll already be prepped with their olfactory skills to dive into what you're cooking. So that's fresh meals for today. That's the secret tip. Remember, fermentation time for flavor, moisture for texture, overnight fermentation for ease and mellow handling. Thanks for joining us. Fresh Meals has been brought to you by Michigan Team Nutrition.